Well, here is yet another example showing that the Hindus are not the peaceful pluralistic religion that they portray themselves as, or as the left-wing media wants you to believe. It says here on, this is on an article on a Hindu, Hindutva Watch, uh, never, can never pronounce it properly. Uh, in this case, there's a, it says how a Hindu organization facing criminal charges is men menacing churches in the Adhara Paradesh, I think that's how you say it. Basically, this Hindu organization that is, is a criminal organization, basically, cr facing criminal charges, is going on and menacing and harassing churches in that in that part of India. But this is the fruit of Hinduism for you. It says they believe that the Christian pastors conducting prayers are part of a conversion mafia in that uh, state of India. I can't, can't pronounce it properly. Booking, booked for committing alleged fraud through its non-profit companies, Shiva Shakti, I think that's how you say it, uses the bogey of, a, of the threat to Hinduism to demand closure of churches it deems illegal. It claims it has forced closure of 10 churches. The group conducts worship that train Hindu youngsters in self-defense and, and produces dozens of videos railing against the Bible and Christianity. Of course, because again, that's the fruit of Hinduism for you. You know, they're no different than the Muslims. They're no different than the Papists. They're no different than the Jews because they all are against uh, religious freedom and all want an earthly theocracy. That's what, set Bible, that's what sets Bible believers apart from the Jews, the Muslims, the, the Papists, and the, uh, the Hindus. It's that simple. And by the way, all four of them, the Jews, the Muslims, the Papists, and the Hindus, all four of them can go in the same group together because they're all of their father, the Antichrist, and Satan. But it says here in the article, uh, it says, on May 2nd, 2022, 10 Hindu men burst into a Christian prayer room in the home of a pastor in central, in, in the coastal Anhadra, I, I, I'm, I can never pronounce that properly, uh, basically in, in the town in India. Uh, they call themselves the Shiva Shakti Sanyam, or the Shiva Shakti army, basically. Quote, what is your case, unquote, they asked the pastor. Of the 10, only two or three spoke, the witnesses recounted. The chapel was on the top floor of a private property, a small independent house owned by Father, of course, call no man Father, Matthew 23, 9, uh, Gana Raju, a convert to Christianity. The pastor's family lives, lives in the house, and the Christians from the locality gather together to pray in a prayer room on the top floor. Quote, if the microphone was the issue, it could have been resolved very simply, unquote, the, the pastor basically said. Quote, they did not need to invade our personal space and belittle our God, unquote. But again, this is what the, what's to be expected from the Hindus, because they don't believe in, in a church-state separation. And when I mean church-state separation, I'm referring to separation of religion and state, meaning the state does not impede on religion and vice versa. They, they're separate. And that is a biblical concept, by the way. Uh, nowhere in the New Testament is it, is it uh, commanded unto Christians to build an earthly kingdom of heaven. In fact, Jesus Christ in John chapter 18, verse 36, says, My kingdom is not of this world, otherwise my servants would fight. Paraphrasing, of course, but kingdom building is not something that Jesus Christ commanded Christians to do. But, and there's nowhere commanded in the New Testament either. So that's why church state separation is a biblical concept. Uh, but see, the Hindus, the Muslims, the Papists, and the Jews all reject that because they're all of their same father, Satan. But says here, he owned the property for eight years and never experienced any disruption. He told Article 14, the video of the event showed one of the men asking devotees aggressively, quote, what are you Christians doing amongst us Hindus? We must protect our homes, unquote. It's funny, we're protecting our homes by invading your personal private property home and forcing you to give up your religious freedom. Yeah, no different, again, no different than the Muslims. Uh, the video was recorded by the Shiva Shakti team and posted to their social media page, among other posts promoting Hindutva. The group has over 400,000 subscribers on YouTube. Conversion of religion in less force is not prohibited in India. And the constitution guarantees the right through articles uh, 25, 26, 27, and 28. In 2021, the Andhra Pradesh unit of the Bharata, Bharata I'm pronouncing it wrong. Bharata Janata Party declared that it would enact a law against religious conversion if it came to power in the state assembly. It may, and it's funny too, we're going to enact a law against religious conversion. What about all the times that Hindus have forcibly, forcibly converted people? But they're not going to really go after that, are they? Because why? They're nothing more than, you know, a, theoc a theocratic type uh, mentality they have. It's all, it's all there, a theocratic type mentality. But says continuing on in may uh, may in may of 2022 the shiva shakti sanyam uh, filed a petition uh, with the spendana it says that they they are the public grievance basically but they're, they're trying to basically get this thing shut down they're trying to get the guy's private church shut down i'm not going to read the whole thing but basically they're just showing that they're against church state separation religion and state separation and religious freedom because the Hindu terrorists are not terrorists. They're just Hindus. Just like the Muslim terrorists are not terrorists. They're just Muslims. So that's the blunt and brutal reality of it all. Uh, Hinduism is not a, a pluralistic religion in, in any sense of the word. 
Uh, they're no different than in, in Islam in many ways. So don't be deceived by the left-wing media narrative. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.